Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Holy Mother Church invites us to reflect upon the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 to 35. In today's Gospel, we hear Jesus teaching the crowd two parables, the parable of the master seed and the parable of the yeast. What does these two parables mean? Jesus tells us that the sower is the preacher, the seed is the word of God, and the soil is the people who hear the word of God. Jesus explains that once we hear the word of God, it penetrates our hearts and minds, transforming those who hear it. Jesus tells us to trust in the word of God, not only in our own efforts. It is not our task to make the seed grow. Instead, we are expected to sow the good seed in the field entrusted to our care. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 13, verse 32, it says, It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it eats the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. Jesus draws our attention to the fact that beginnings, small beginnings can lead us to a great outcome. What is Jesus trying to teach us here? In our Christian lives, we might feel that our efforts are too small to make a difference. We might think that a kind word, a simple prayer, or a small act of charity is insignificant. However, Jesus encouraged us that these small actions, like the master seed, have the potential to grow into something great. Sometimes the things we do for God might seem small and unimportant. For example, a simple act of kindness can inspire others to be kind. A single prayer can lead us into a deeper relationship with God. Therefore, we should never underestimate the power of small faithful actions. To continue, the growth of the master seed into a tree symbolizes the growth of God's kingdom. God's kingdom starts in each of us, persevering in prayer, being consistent in reading the Bible, and continually seeking to follow Jesus. Growth might be slow and we might face challenges, but with faith and patience, we will see the fruits of our efforts in God's time. To add, over time with God's nurturing, our faith grows. We become strong and more capable of spreading God's love to others. We should also remember that our spiritual journey might start small, but with persistence and faith, it can grow beyond our imagination. Jesus continued teaching the crowd the parable of the yeast, comparing it to God's kingdom. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 13, verse 33, we read that, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till it was all leavened. Jesus is reminding us about the transformative power of God's kingdom. When we allow God's love and teachings to enter our hearts, even in a small amount, it changes us from within. Just like yeast, 
just like yeast that works its way through the dough. God's presence within us influences every part of our lives. Our thoughts, actions, and the relationships are transformed. We become more patient, more loving, and more forgiving. Now Jesus is telling us to allow God to transform us. We need to invite God into our hearts and let his teachings influence our lives. God's love and guidance can transform us from within. This transformation might be slow and subtle, but it is powerful and lasting. We should remember to pray, to read the Bible, and to seek God's presence, trusting that He is working within us to make us better Christians. Lastly, we are both called to be sowers and yeast. We are also called to plant the seeds of God's word into the hearts of others and trust God to make those seeds grow. As we reflect on these parables, let us open our hearts to God's word, be like the good soil, and allow his kingdom to grow within us. Let us trust in God's wisdom and judgment, knowing that he will bring good out of everything. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the light of your love.